What's going on guys, Matt Schaefer back here with another Musaic Radar and Laser job for you. This one in a brand new Ford Shelby truck. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now looking at the front, this one is really good because it is very, very stealth. Uh, we did a few cool things with this one using the AL Priority front sensors. We used two RX, two TX. And basically looking at the front, just do a little close up here can't really spot anything right so what we ended up doing is we remade this bottom grill here so all of this was made in CAD reprinted out using different types of acrylic so we mimicked the same piece that was down here with this acrylic and it's backed with IR acrylic so we basically have two areas one here one here that have the TX sensor which is gonna be the more powerful uh, sensor with more diodes than the RX. So the RX is here and there. So you can kind of see it from the side where we have this pod that's the perfect shape of, as the bumper sits flush with the outside and it uses the IR acrylic so the light can emit through the plastic, much like the head of the sensor itself uses IR acrylic. Um, so we have pod, pod, TX, TX, 2RX, which those are gonna be the receive, the center's gonna be the transmit. So that's gonna give you really good coverage on the front end of this truck. The radar, we use Net Radar DSP heads, which works in conjunction with the AL Priority system. That radar head is right here behind the bumper. As far as the rear goes, uh, in this case, we made our license plate that is a little bit different, made to work with the truck. And then we have RX and TX here behind that IR acrylic in our custom license plate frame. So again, looks like a typical frame. You have your license plate in there, uh, completely sleek. And uh, yeah, you're never really gonna know anything is in the rear as well. It's the best way to tackle a truck when using two sensors for the rear, the one RX and TX in the frame. Also, we have the Net Radar DSP sensor, which is also the rear one is behind the bumper. As far as the inside goes, we went more simplistic. Maybe you can see it there. We just made a little pod there for the ALP controller, and that's where he's gonna utilize the command center for the radar and laser system. Also, you can utilize the AL Priority app on the phone itself. So basically turning it on, we can connect the phone, and then all of a sudden we have our phone and then the phone can become the main screen for what's actually happening. Uh, we can also update specifically from the, from the app itself, which makes everything easy to update. Uh, the firmware updates are to update the sensors and, you know, kind of change the algorithms if uh, other guns get updated, which cops would shoot with. Uh, if those firmware, if the firmware updates on the guns that are used, obviously AL Priority can counteract that through updating on their app. So really cool and uh, a nice way to see exactly what's going on without physically having to install a display somewhere else in the vehicle. The modern radar and laser systems work a lot different than they did back in the day. Like I just mentioned with the firmware updates, they're gonna stay up to date. They're not gonna false like the other ones do. You know, the ones that I'm talking about are in the mid 2000s when they used to go off all the time, especially as more modern cars with collision avoidance, adaptive cruise control, all hit the market. You have K-Ban and K-A-Ban flying all over the place and obviously radar detectors are picking that up. So now you can segment these radar detectors to keep it as quiet as possible. So now when you're getting hit, you know it's more of an actual threat than a random false on the street. Um, but yeah, AL Priority, Net Radar, this is a all-in-one system. Obviously you've seen some of the other videos that we've done where we use like a combination of Escort and AL Priority. Um, where the radar filtering works a little bit better on the Escort than it does in that radar. But in this case, we did the all-in-one to keep it under the umbrella of one system, also a little bit more cost-effective. So thank you guys again for watching the video. If this is your first video that you're seeing, we do a ton of other radar and laser jobs, integration jobs just like this one. Go check those out to see how we've attacked other vehicles. And also our niche is really in audio, sound quality, integration, all that kind of stuff. So. 
go ahead and check out those audio builds. And a lot of times we're doing audio, radar and laser all in one job. So make sure you subscribe and hit that alert bell to notify you anytime we drop a new video. If you're interested in getting a job done by us, here's my email address followed by my phone number. These are the two best points of contact. Also check out our website, musaicdesign.com. This is a one-stop shop to see all the jobs that we've done, the build log, the videos. We have a radar tab on there that you can see all the jobs that we've done. Very easy to navigate and see all the information regarding the different vehicles that we've done and what's possible. So go ahead and check that out. Also, you can follow me on TikTok. I do a lot of in-progress build videos, uh, shorter walkthrough videos. So if you don't have the time for YouTube, check out the TikTok um, where you can get the information in a much smaller sample size. Also Instagram, here's our three handles, at the real Matty S is the one that I use most frequent. That is my personal one. And like always guys, I appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time. <music>